And she looks over at me and she says, oh, Anik, I want you to meet my friend Brian, Brian Proctor. I'm like, no way. Like, is this gonna happen again? So I, wait, any relation to Bob Proctor? Thinking, you know, ha ha, when, when's the last time you asked that question and someone actually said yes? And he goes, yeah, it's my father. It's like a month later, not even a month, maybe three and a half weeks later, I get back home and I'm invited to come to Bob Proctor's home. This is The Fighting Entrepreneur, the podcast dedicated to entrepreneurs looking to change the world. Learn how to start, build, and scale a business in today's highly competitive business environment. Here's your host, The Fighting Entrepreneur, Anik Singhal. What's up, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? Welcome back to yet another episode of The Fighting Entrepreneur. If you're watching this on YouTube, you've got to go to onikpodcast.com and you can grab all our show notes there and you can, of course, listen to us on iTunes as well. Today, we're going to talk about how events made me my first $3 million and since then have made me deca millions of dollars. As a matter of fact, here, you want proof of why I believe so much in events? I built a $3.6 million freaking dollar facility here in Rockville, Maryland called the Learn Center, which is, it's like Disney World, all right? It's awesome. It's a Disney World for entrepreneurs. Why did I build this place? Well, we have a lecture hall here that can seat 200 people. We have two classrooms, one that can seat 60, one that can seat 40. We, have a, we actually have networking rooms, huddle rooms. We have an arcade, we have a gym, we have places to just sit and work, we have a nap room. Why do we do all this? It's because the one thing missing, I believe the most today in our digital world, in our awesome digital world, the one thing missing is in person. Listen, you cannot discredit the power, the absolute power of meeting someone, shaking their hand and being in front of them. And that's why today I want to talk to you about, man, get up, get off your, get off your butt, get out, get to an event, go somewhere, do something. Seriously, don't get soaked into the digital world. And what we're finding, see, we train entrepreneurs. I've taught over 250,000 entrepreneurs, right? And one of the things that I see the most when I talk to people is they say, God, I wish someone could just show me, like look over my shoulder and show me. And we are seeing that some of the biggest and greatest success that we are getting from our students, they're the ones that are taking the time to hop in a plane, come out and come to our event. Because when you come to an event, you're not like, I understand that you can sit in the audience and listen to a speaker talk, but why can't I just do that from home? I'm just listening to the knowledge. Because you know the first $3 million that I made from event had nothing to do with what the speaker was talking about. As a matter of fact, little secret, I don't listen to nobody. I wasn't even in the room half the time. So here, that's crazy. I'm telling you to go to events, go to networking events, that's the key, mark that word, networking events, and then don't even sit in the event. Don't even go to the event. How, how that just sounds stupid, right? It just sounds like, Anik, you're negating yourself. Well, hear me out. So what I would do is I'd go in the room kind of mostly to look around and see who's there. Who are the people that I really want to get to know? Who are the people that I really want to meet? Who are the people that are going to be on my list of people to meet outside in the lobby, at the bar, you know, at the restaurant? And if I could even meet one or two people that I kind of knew, guess what? I could say, hey, you know, we've been chatting on the forum or we've been chatting on Skype or, you know, the tonic, like what's up? And they'd say, oh, hey. And then guess what? Suddenly they have two or three people around them. And I'm like, I don't know who you are, hey. And all of a sudden I'm networking and I'm getting to know people. So I'm gonna tell you a little story first about the power that just getting out had on my business and I'm going to challenge you right now. Now, a lot of people, so I want to cut this, I want to cut in front of this right now. A lot of people say, Hey, um, Anik, I, I, there's no events in my area. Bull crap. Okay. Bull crap. I'm going to give you resources in this episode where you can go and you can find events in your area. Great event. And you, you know, the best part, it doesn't matter how small or big they are. And I don't need, I'm not saying you have to buy event tickets that are thousands of dollars and then buy airline tickets and travel. Although if you can do that, that's great. That's great. That's going to make a big difference, but at least you can start with even something small, local, get out there. So what I did when I was first starting my business is I just, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I got to an event because I just had no idea. My first event I ever went to was a copywriting event in Delray Beach, Florida. And I went for the vacation because the person who eventually became my mentor, who kept insisting that I learn copywriting, which was the most appalling and stupid idea I'd ever heard in my life. But he kept insisting, kept insisting. One day he's like, you know what, kid? 
I will pay for you to fly out here. I'll pay for your ticket. I'll pay for your airline ticket to come here to Delray Beach, Florida to attend this copywriting event so that you can see and learn from it the importance of copywriting. And I thought, free vacation to Delray Beach, Florida. Heck yeah, I'm a broke college kid. Someone's willing to pay for me. I'll, I'm in, I'll go. Little did I know that my mentor, his name's Justin Ford, was on to something. He was tricking me, it was a trick the whole time. Because as soon as I got there, I walk into this room and I look around and my entire world changed. My entire thought process about copywriting completely evolved, completely changed. Because I looked around and it wasn't people holding up little cups with their pinky sticking out. These were cool people. These were normal people, regular people. We had bikers in the room. We had stay-at-home moms in the room. We had engineers in the room. We had doctors in the room. All copywriters. So the first hour I'm actually sitting, I'm making a good student, I'm sitting in the front, I'm trying to impress Justin, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make sure Justin feels that I'm taking his investment in me seriously, sitting in the front half the time, la la lying. And all of a sudden, Michael Masterson gets introduced and walks onto stage. Now, listen, I wasn't a copywriter, but I wasn't dumb either. Back then I understood what it mean, what it meant to be Michael Masterson. The, arguably the number one copywriter in the world, the number one direct marketer in the world walks out on stage in front of me. And now I'm, I'm sitting there and they said, Michael Masterson, also known as Mark Ford. I'm like, Mark Ford, my mentor. Well, eventually my mentor, Justin Ford. Huh? Any relationship? So during a break, I run right up to Justin. I'm like, Hey, he's got the same last name as you. And Justin goes, yeah, I know he's my big brother. I was like, I can tell you that moment, my world stopped. It stopped, like everything stopped around me. And next thing I know that night, I'm out to have drinks. Justin takes me out and guess who I'm sitting right next to? Mark Ford, Michael Masterson. And at that very event, I meet a couple other people. I become better friends with Justin. That event sparked a series of decisions and things that happened in my life. And I'll tell you right now, had I not gone to that event, I would have never learned copywriting. I would have never become excited about copywriting. I would not be in front of you today. Promise you that. I'd probably be a doctor. I'd be doing brain surgery right now. And that's not good for whoever I'm doing the brain surgery on. So that event saved my life and someone else's life, all right? So being at that event, now, okay, so that's just one event, right? Come on, Anik, you're lucky. You met Michael Masterson's brother. Okay, so f fast forward. Now I start, to, I start to attend other events. I remember I took a flight. I remember I actually took my parents with me, all right? And I was like, I was starting to make a little bit of money. I wanted to impress my parents. I wanted to take them out. So we went to LA. There was an event going on in LA. It's a World Internet Summit, I still remember. Now I'm an attendee. And I get there and I realize as an attendee, it's a little bit difficult to get in front of the top people, which are usually the speakers, right? To, to network with them and get to know them. So I'm at the event and I get messaged by, uh, everyone knows uh, you know, this name now, and we go way back, Russell Brunson. He messages me and says, hey man, I'm in Phoenix. I'm at Mike Filsame's event. He says he wants to see you, come by. You're close, you're in LA. I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, I brought my parents on vacation here. I, I was crazy back then, right? Like I understood the value of just get up, get out, get it. I got in a plane. Seriously, on day two of the event, I skipped the event I'm in. I told my parents I'll be back by evening. I went to the airport, got on a plane, went to Phoenix, and I was at the event for four hours. I walked in, Michael, Mike Filsame is standing on the other side. I'm nervous. I can't even go up to say hi to him. That's the only reason I went to the event. And next thing, Russell comes, he's like, why haven't you talked to him? I'm like, I don't know. And he takes me over and says, Mike, this is Onik. Onik, this is Mike. We shake hands. That's it. I was on my way out. I had to catch my flight back. That's it. I got to shake his hand and say hello. You know what happened? Three months later, I ran into Mike at another event, and he says, hey, you're the crazy kid that came to my event for just a few hours. Russell told me later, you just came to shake my hand. I said, yeah, that's, that's actually true. Well, I'm going to tell you is that was the moment that Mike said, what do you do? I want to get to know you more. I appreciate that hustle. Mike and I went on to do a $3 million launch called Launch Tree, all right? I could tell you so many more stories of events. I'll tell you one more story because I know that when I tell you one story of a freakish undertaking or something that happened that was crazy, you say that was luck. But if I could tell you seven of them, it's not luck. You know, it's design. So another thing that happens is a lot of you who've been listening, who know me, you know that there was a point in time where my business fell $1.7 million in debt, completely collapsed. 
Well, at that time, you know, apparently I still found some way to get over to Mexico for uh, a vacation at a five star all like all inclusive resort. I went to Awesomeness Fest, an event put on by Mind Valley. Now I'm not much of a woo woo PD kind of guy myself, but I went to the event. I'm not really sure why I went to the event. I think I just went there because I needed a break and I wanted to go on vacation. And I went there with one of my best friends, who's now the CEO of Send Lane, Jimmy Kim. And at night, I remember I'm walking around. So we got there that night. And at these all-inclusive resorts, they always have these buffets, right? So we went to the buffet to eat food. And I'm looking around, and I can tell it's people from the event, but I don't recognize anybody except for one person. One person I recognize, Sonia Riccati. Why? Because she used to go to all the marketing events. So I, I latched on. I said, and she sees me from far. She's like, oh, Nick. And I'm like, Sonia, what's up? And I went and sat down at her table, and she looks over at me, and she says, oh, Anik, I want you to meet my friend Brian, Brian Proctor. <laughs> I'm like, no way. Like, is this going to happen again? I said, wait, any relation to Bob Proctor? Thinking, you know, ha ha. When, when's the last time you asked that question and someone actually said yes? And he goes, yeah, that's my father. You know, that's when you like scoot in a couple of scoots closer. You're like, hey, man. Next thing I know, we're talking. And a, it's like a month later, not even a month, maybe three and a half weeks later, I get back home. And I'm invited to come to Bob Proctor's home because Brian and I hit it off so much. And I was able to tell him what it would mean to me if I could get a chance to meet Bob because of the impact he had out of my life. And I'm sitting in Bob's home talking business, talking life. Next thing I know, he's endorsing my first ever comeback product from my $1.7 in debt called Future of Wealth. And we did. That launch went on to do over a million in sales thanks to the support that Bob Proctor gave it, partly to the support. Because then Bob introduced me to a bunch of other people in the industry. And those people introduced me to a bunch of other people in the industry. And it all started with a quick hi-hello handshake. So these, th this is what's happening when you go to events. You know, if you've been listening to our podcast, you know that we've had guests come on and say the same thing. They've come on and said, got to get to events, events and networking. It is key. Now, a lot of people say networking. I'm scared. Oh my God. I don't want to networking. Isn't you being suave. I don't have business cards. I still don't have business cards. I don't know how, if someone says, Hey, how do I get a hold of you? I'm like, here's my email and let's share phone numbers. You know, networking means you just need to be present and say, hi, hello. Can you do that? Right. If you know even one person at the event, now, how are you going to get to know one person? You got to go to a couple of events as you can recognize one face. That's it. It can be the spark that lights the fire for you to meet everyone else. And I have a simple rule. Anyone around me knows this when I go to events and I want you to I really want you to take this rule. I have the three rule. That's it. At every event I go to, I walk away with three takeaways. That's it. I'm only allowed to walk. And if I meet someone that I have to follow up with or we're going to talk business or talk shop, or that's one. If I meet two people, that's two. If I learn a strategy, that's three. That's all I'm allowed. I can take notes through the whole event. But at the end of the event, I have to find only three things that I will execute on. I've been following this rule for easily 15 years now. It's changed my, my life. Now, you know, you won't see me at as many events now because... I just don't need to go to as many events now, but I still go to the big ones and I still, I still go and I still shake hands. I still network. I still share phone numbers. I still talk to people and it almost always leads to the biggest things, even the worst events that I've ever been to. And there's some bad ones. I've made so much money from it because of the people that I've had a chance to meet the meals I've had, the drinks I've had and the, the outings we've gone on to the degree that I built this learn center so that the local community here in Rockville, Gaithersburg, Bethesda, Maryland, Silver Spring, Maryland can communicate and meet and network and connect. We have an event coming up here where we're going to have about 60, 70 people at it. And I'm going to be teaching how to do local lead generation. We have another event coming up where we're going to be doing a Shopify meetup. We will have another event coming up. We do these all the time. We actually have a model where you can buy a membership to our Learn Center so you can come to two events a week. So if you think I don't believe in the value of events, I'm spending millions of dollars not to facilitate events for myself, but to facilitate them for everybody else, all the other entrepreneurs around me. Now, last piece I really do want you to, to listen to and I want you to take away. So I shared with you a bunch of back-to-back -back stories. I want to ask you something. I know life gets busy. Entrepreneurs are all busy. Are you getting out at least once a month? There's a lot of local events. Are you getting out at least once a month to an industry event? Are you getting on a plane? Are you traveling? Listen, don't tell me you don't have money. Find it. 
because one handshake is all that could be standing between where you are today and where you want to be. For me, it certainly was a series of handshakes, but every handshake, every one of those handshakes took me to the next level. And I want to challenge you today. So I want to give you just a few places that you can go right now to find events, local events, free events. Go to eventbrite.com, E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E.com. Go to meetup. Dot com. Go to google.com and flip and type in local events about blah. What do you want? What do you want to do? Who do you want to meet? What kind of people do you want to meet? Go to your local chamber of commerce website. Almost every single one will display and list all the events happening in the local area. Or if you have an economic department, uh, we have here, we have economic development departments that list out all the events happening in the local area. Go to Google, type in, I think I already said that. Go to LinkedIn. All right, LinkedIn has these events called LinkedIn Local. They have them all over the world. Go look it up. Look up the LinkedIn Local closest to your city and get over there. They usually have 30, 40, 50 people at each one. Remember, it only takes one person. If you don't know which events to go to, find any event, go to that event, and ask the people at that event which events they go to. I promise you, ask 10 people, you'll find one more event that's worth your time. And most of these events, they're like $30, $50 free so I'm not even asking you to spend a lot of money. Last but not least, I want to challenge you to do one thing, and I want you to commit to this today. This is the outcome I want you to have after listening to this episode. I want you to find one major event in your industry, just one for now. One major event. This is my challenge. Come on. Are you going to take it? One major event in your industry, whatever that is, where you have to travel, where you have to pay for the ticket, pay for the airfare, pay for the hotel, and I want you to commit to getting there. I want you to buy that ticket, just one right now. I used to go to up to two or three a month, and I'm telling you it accelerated my business unlike anything else I've ever done. So right now, that's my challenge for you. Find one event in your industry where you have to put your skin in the game, your neck on the line, get some money, sell some stuff if you have to, to get that money, get to that event, and when you get there, Give yourself a number. I will not leave this event without 20 cell phone numbers. I will not leave this event without 20 cell phone numbers or 30 cell phone numbers or whatever it is that you want. All right? Events, networking, they're core, they're important, they make all the difference, in my opinion. Come on, you gotta get to one. And hey, if you can get down here to Learn Center, come on down. We do lots of events here. Make sure you check us out at learncenter.com, L-U-R-N-C-E-N-T-E-R.com. Anyone in the Maryland area, if you know someone, come on, forward this out to them. Give them that link. Text them right now. Help them. Save them, all right? Get them into an entrepreneurship event like ours, and it might just be the moment that you change their lives. All right, come on, head on over to onicpodcast.com. Make sure you click the subscribe button on iTunes. Make sure right now, if you're watching on YouTube, come on. Come on, go below. Let's get a comment. Hit the little bell thing. Hit subscribe. Do whatever you got to do. Copy, paste the URL and spam it to the world. Let's get this message out to everybody. Make sure you hit uh, subscribe on iTunes and leave me a review as well because that really helps us with the ratings. Onicpodcast.com for the show notes. Lots of amazing things going on at Learn. Make sure you log in to Learn Nation. L-U-R-N for your L-U-R-N.com for your absolutely free membership. Go log in, get into a course, finish it, up-level your skills, keep fighting as an entrepreneur. This is Onyx Singhal reminding you when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back. Come on, I'll talk to you soon. See you on the next Fighting Entrepreneur podcast episode. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx Singhal.